So this is a video to show you how to build a more of a comprehensive rubric using the new Google Forms. Uh, I've decided to show you how to do this um, using uh, a rubric that I've already made. Uh, it just might be a little bit easier to see how I've built the questions and how I built the rubric. Um, so to start, I just put in a unit question. This is just a short answer text question. Um, I can show you here, short answer. Now to build the rubric, uh, I have the uh, different categories of Kika in here. So I started with knowledge. So that's using a multiple choice grid as a question selection. And then filling in knowledge here, and then I did the knowledge of the rules. So in column one, I had uh, the level one, rarely displays knowledge of rules, and so forth. So as you go down the columns, you can see I have level one, two, three, and four. Uh, and in row one, I have knowledge of rules. Um, it's important that you put the what you're marking in the row and then the actual descriptors or if you just want to put a level one, two, three, and four in the columns, that's fine. So as we move down, uh, you'll see under the first knowledge uh, section, I've actually put a grade out of 10. So this is a, a summative rubric, I guess you can call it, or an assessment of learning rubric. And um, so under the knowledge category, I have the descriptors, and then I have a, a mark out of 10. So for application, I did the same thing, demonstration of skills, really uh, displays knowledge uh, and demonstration of skills for a specific sport. That's the descriptor here. Um, so again, application, what I'm marking specifically, and then the descriptors. And then again, uh, a grade out of 10. So I did that for thinking and inquiry as well and then a grade out of 10, and communication as well. So you have all of the Kika categories covered for this assessment of learning rubric. And then at the end, I added in a teacher's comment. So um, I'll explain to you why I did this in uh, a checkbox um, or a uh, yeah, checkbox question. So I put in teacher comments. You can preload whatever comments you want in here. So I've done sort of a leveled uh, list of comments that I would like to pick from. So as you scroll down, you see all the comments I can put in. You can add or take away whatever comments you want. There's some sports specific ones and there's some just general Kika ones. Um, using DocuPender, you'll see that when you use a checkbox, it actually uh, comes out sort of looking like a paragraph. So I've chosen for teacher comments. I've put in the preloaded comments here. And then what I'm gonna do now is run DocuPender over this. So uh, I'm going to add in another question at the bottom called, just simply called student. And I'm going to select a multiple choice. Um, this question I'm going to move up to the top of my form. So just underneath unit. Uh, this question is important because this is where the documents uh, that I want to populate are uh, going to lie. So you'll see when I run DocuPender through add-ons, I'm going to open the sidebar. So in the DocuPender sidebar, it'll ask me what target folder I want, and this is where all the documents lie. So your target folder is where all the documents lie that you want to populate. Um, I'm going to choose a different folder even though it's the same one. So for the Google Apps for Education, I'm going to pick my advisees, select, uh, and then I'm going to press next. Uh, sometimes the questions won't show up here. Oh, it did. If it doesn't, just correct, uh, select refresh list, and then I'm going to pick student. So you'll see for the, for the grid, it didn't even show up as a selection. Um, so you'll either get a multiple choice or a checklist um, choice to see what question you want to upload uh, all the populated documents on. So I select student, save and populate. And you'll see now that all of the titles of the documents within that folder, within the, uh, the GAF um, sample folder have uploaded. So uh, Padme, and so forth have uploaded all my fake students. Uh, I'm going to click next. 
that's going to ask me what questions I want to uh, have show up on this doctor pended document. So I'm going to select the student's name, the timestamp also, sometimes not necessary. So the unit, it has all of these other things selected. Make sure you select whatever questions you want to show up on the doc appended document. I select vertical tables. That's how I like it to come out. And then I'm going to click Save Changes. So now it's done. I know it doesn't really give you a sort of like doc appender is done doing whatever, but once Save Changes is done, you can click out. So you've now made the multiple choice rubric and you've used the first question as your, or the second question as uh, your appended documents with the students' names here. So um, what I can do is show you um, how this looks on the live form. So preview. You'll see the marking sheet. I can type in whatever unit I want. So let's say this is for Frisbee. I can select, uh, let's say we're marking job of the hut. They received a four and let's say you got a nine and then Java sometimes displays knowledge. Let's say uh, 6.5. Again, let's say a four and a nine, and then a level four and a nine. And then the comments I'm going to give them, you'll see here, um, great display of rules, um, great application of skills and knowledge during gameplay situations, and one more comment, uh, the communication between yourself and your, team, and your teammates and teacher was excellent. So I'm going to submit that. That's great, and it's actually going to go to the documented folder of job of the hut and there you go so there's the unit the student's name and knowledge section uh, they got the level four consistently displays knowledge of sport rules they got a nine and so forth down to the bottom where you see the teacher comments it does show up like a paragraph so great display of knowledge uh, of the rules of the game Great application of skills and knowledge during gameplay situations. The communication between yourself and your teammates and teacher was excellent. Uh, the only thing is that sometimes it puts comments in between uh, the different comments that you select in the checkbox, but so far I uh, haven't had any students complain about that. Uh, so that is it. That is how to build a rubric, a more comprehensive rubric, through Google Forms using DocuPender.